This is Cars All The Time, Car Search Engine, and I am G, your host. And I'm here at Tamarinda. This is a surfing beach town in Costa Rica. And it is nice and windy here at the ocean, as you can see behind me, the ocean and all. And uh, it's great to like. Right now, we got a 1932 Cord L29 Cabriolet. This was the first American front wheel drive car to be offered to the public. And several months in the 1929, the brainchild of some engineers, and uh, they were dominating the racers using the same layout inboard brakes. This allowed it to be much lower than completing cars, both stock cars and special bodies built on the core chassis by American and European coach builders, and they won prizes and contests worldwide. The L29 came with full instrumentation, including a temperature gauge, oil pressure gauge, and speedometer on the left with a gas gauge, oil level gauge on the right of the steering wheel. Now, these cars were gorgeous cars. Take, take a look at this car right here. Take a look. That is a gorgeous cord right there. Look at the car. See there? Man. They built them beautiful back in 1929. Beautiful. So, now, um, now these cars were powered by Auburn's 4,934 cc's, which in the U.S. terms is 301 cubic inches, with 125 horsepower, L head, whatever that meant back then, L head. Okay. Gearing in both transmission and front axle was inadequate because the car weighed 4,700 pounds, you know. Uh, so with only 125 horsepower, I can, I can see that, you know. So, the, um, okay, it was, we would run about 80 miles per hour at that time, which is pretty fast in 1929. And that was during the Depression. I remember that Depression in 1929. Now, they produced 4,400 of these cars, and the prices are upward of $400,000 in today prices. Uh, now, if you can find one at auction, if you got the money, go buy one right now. You know what? That's our show for right now. See ya.